Hi. Kevin Alethea. Nice Alethea, you. Kevin, yes, good to meet you. Are you going to make them this way so we can see in them? <laughs> wow. It looks really great with the other color. And I like that. I, I, that's, I want all my appliances to be ones I can see into. Man, fantastic. Okay, Alethea is going to tell us about this marvelous new coffee maker. Yeah. So the thing that we talk about with uh, coffee is the one of the things is the mouth feel. Now a lot of people like French press coffee because you get that kind of like thick, almost like milky taste in oh, your yeah, mouth. Oh yeah. And but with a French press, you're getting a lot of sediment. So this machine is kind of a good marriage between a French press and a auto, normal automatic machine. You see inside here, we've got a gold-plated metal mesh filter. Okay, the filter. gold filter. This allows for coffee oils to pass through and to get into your cup to have that nice big full flavor, but at the same time keeping all your particulates out. So you're not getting the same kind of like sludge that you find in the bottom of a French right. press. You're not chewing your coffee. Right. And this is also obviously reusable, dishwasher safe, so that you're not wasting paper with the paper filters every time. Is it, 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 the, the filter itself is dishwasher safe? Yes. Wow. All of these components are dishwasher safe wow. except for the vacuum I pot. This pot, the first issue one is stainless steel double wall. The second generation is going to be a glass on the inside, but this is cold to heat a lot better. People have told me that they've made coffee in the afternoon, left the office, come back in the morning, and it's still hot. Really? Yeah. Not that you would want coffee that's 12 I, yeah, hours I don't old, know if it's but still <laughs> good, but it's still hot. It's still hot. Yeah. Tell me a little about the grinder. Oh, this is a conical burr grinder. Um, good. Yes. So to adjust the grind, you just turn the whole hopper. Espresso is right here. There's a middle one for um, auto drip, and then of course French press all the way in the end, and then a range in between. So depending on your machine or depending on your preference, you can move it wherever you want. We're doing a little bit coarser than the auto drip setting. That's what it's recommended for this machine, but because of the mesh filter, we decided to go a little coarser just to make sure you're not getting those particulates in there. And then here you've got the time setting, 5, 10, 15, 20 seconds, and this removable little cup. This is glass to minimize static cling, so sometimes you know, you'll know you take your yeah, coffee thing out I know. and it like, explodes everywhere. Oh. And then it's got a silicone lid. Okay. Oh, that's, a, you know what? It's pretty quiet. It is grinder. actually pretty quiet for a, for a grinder, yes. Mm -hmm. We're doing eight scoops on the medium coarse grind. Oh yeah, that's a pretty, uh, that's a relatively coarse grind. We played around a little bit um, with dialing in this machine, just in terms of the coffee. We're actually doing different settings for the different roasts. Okay. So this is the removable reservoir. You can see here we've got, it's 1.2 liters, 40 ounces, or 10 cups, so 10 four ounce cups. And so we're doing a 35 ounces with eight scoops, and it's about seven grams per scoop. Okay. All right, so this just pops in here. Now, as soon as you put the reservoir in, you're gonna notice water gets sucked down into the tubing. So if you take this back out again, it's not gonna sh show you the actual accurate water level. So just remember Oh, that. because some of it's already gone down in there. Yeah. Okay. Boy, so, I like the bubbling. It looked like you could put tropical fish in there, but don't recommend it? Don't, no, I wouldn't okay. Recommend yeah, it'll give you it a off really taste. Add to the yeah. of your coffee. <laughs> just nice, even scoops. Seven. Perfect. Eight. All right. Eight times seven is 56 grams. Yes. So should be, uh, yeah, just about perfect for that amount. Yep. Good. All right, now this just pops in here, all the way back. On switches here, and we're good to go. Just a few seconds to begin with while the, the copper um, heating element heats oh, yeah. up. That's, this is actually heating it right up to 205, 206 degrees. Really? That's nice and hot. And then there's borosilicate glass yeah. here yeah. and silicone all through here. So the heat retention in this machine is incredible. By the time your water hits the grinds, it's only cooled down about two to five degrees. Wow. So you're so really, you're in the gold. Smack the, dab of 200 or maybe a little range hotter. right there. Yeah. Yep. 200, wow. 202 degrees. Fantastic. So that's perfect. And wow. you'll see it's pulse brewing, so it's yes. shooting up little bits at a time. I'm not going to lift this off because you might right. get sprayed. I know. Sprayed. That would be, I wouldn't want to get sprayed, but I also wouldn't want to lose the two degrees in temperature exactly. in the water. Exactly. Because I care about my coffee. Yep. And so this is, for a full pot, we've timed this in just under five minutes. So the shower head is one of the features about this that makes it really unique. It's a shower head about this big. 
is off silicone and um, with that large shower head you're able to evenly wet all of the grinds you notice a lot of times in automatic machines it'll just have like that little hole at the top right. and you'll get like the kind of the cone in the middle where yeah, all the grinds have been yes. wet and then the outsides haven't barely been touched at all they have fled their role in the extraction process exactly yes. now why did Bodum come out with an automatic drip machine so they decided to come out with an automatic machine because people want that specialty coffee flavor, but they don't necessarily want to spend the 10 minutes it takes in the morning to do the pour over where you boil your water and you I have see. your dose and then, you know, you have to wait, you have to pay attention. Not everyone wants to do that. Bodum really thought carefully, though, before they came out with a drip machine. In other words, they wanted to make a statement with it, Oh, obviously. absolutely. I mean, every component of this is adding to what makes it unique. From the borosilicate glass tubing here that's retaining heat, the silicone shower head, all of these parts, and I'll show you when we're done, all of these parts are removable, and like I said, dishwasher safe. Who wants coffee? Yes. So now this, you have to press the lever, like, because it's vacuum sealed. Okay, yeah, yeah. And just remember, this will be hot on yes. Tuesday because of the vacuum. We're actually just gonna leave this here. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Very hot and very flavorful. Yep. See here, I'm gonna pull this out real quick. Yeah. All the grounds did their mm -hmm. job. No mm -hmm. slackers on the sides, wa standing around watching the others do the heavy spectators. lifting. Spectators. Yeah, spectators, exactly. And that, the, the pulse brewing also helps with that because it's giving it a shot of right. water, it gets to bloom up, another shot of water, so it's all kind of mixing as it's going. Great. It's, yeah, it's really, really good. Very nice. This is what we look for. Yes, <laughs> it is. It is exactly what we look for. I always examine the grounds. Shower head here. Okay, now we're going to get to see a little surgery here. Here we go. So this all comes out. This is also all dishwasher safe. Wow. This you can wipe off. Yes. Kind of the Look dishwasher. at the shower head. A lot of nice sprags. It's just like yep. one of those, you know, Polynex things. You yep. Nice big bath for your coffee. Yeah. And then this comes out too. So all of this, all wow. of these components, you just take them right out and then stick them in your dishwasher. Beautiful. Yeah. It's great. Very nice. Wow. What a. What a dramatic uh, innovation this year. Yeah, it's unlike anything wow. I've ever seen. I'm gonna try, now it should be the perfect drinking temperature. Mm. Nice, full-bodied, um, great acidity, and uh, just a wonderful mouthfeel. So let's, uh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> And remember, Henry Ford, in any color you want, as long as it's black, obviously, he didn't work for Bodum. You don't have to. <laughs>